Um, I would love to uh, invite up right now, we're going to invite Laura Michaelis up. Uh, if you were here last week, we gave Laura a welcome back. And again, if you're visiting with us, uh, Laura is someone who is very uh, dear and special to us. Laura is missionary out in Chad, Africa. And uh, last week was your first Sunday uh, back with us. I think you got home on Monday or Tuesday or something like that. Um, and so we, did, we give it, Laura a quick welcome back. But uh, Laura, I thought it would be great just to um, say hi to everybody, give you the opportunity to say hi, and perhaps people that are visiting as well. Why don't you just tell us a little bit about what you have been doing, maybe how long you're home for. And then today as well, we have a little bit of a specific need that we're going to talk about. But uh, we wanted to introduce Laura to you and let her explain a little bit about what she does. Hello. I'm glad to be here. Is this working? Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, some of you know me, some of you don't. Um, so I'm Laura Michaelis. I grew up here in Perry Sound, and I've been working for the last six years in Chad, Africa, right in the center of Africa. And um, we work with the Arab nomads. There are 1.5 million nomads in traveling throughout uh, Chad, and our desire and heart is to share Christ with them, to be a light in life. We are currently unaware of any nomads that follow Jesus. And um, another, not only is there a spiritual need, there's a physical need in Chad. Um, I'm a midwife, teammates are also medical, and so we serve through midwifery care. So, um, yeah, delivering babies and primary health care. That's our main role in Chad. Um, and, yeah, that's. Yeah, so, so you're taking a much needed and well deserved break at the moment. I think that's yeah. important to rest. Yeah. How long are you home for? Yeah, I'm here until the middle of October. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And so, as Laura mentioned, um, each year, roughly each year, every time you're back, maybe not every year, but as Laura comes back, obviously uh, we want to support her well and love her well as a church. And so, this time as you're back, we always connect and say, hey, is there something that we can help with? How is your team doing? You know, what, what are the needs out there uh, that are many? And so, this year, Laura's identified a very specific, but a big need, uh, but a really important one. We have a little video to explain a little bit about that, but let's talk about it a little bit. Um, essentially, your, your team needs a way to get around. It needs a truck, and we've seen lots of different photos, and you've given us video report, uh, different reports and things uh, before, but your truck is going MIA, and it's dropping clutches. I'm not a, I don't know, it, it doesn't work, right? And so yeah. you've been, <laughs> Laura shared many stories of yeah. ending up in the middle of the yep. wilderness Nowhere. desert and <laughs> having to camp out and having to rough it and it's yeah. not practical and it's not safe and yeah. so um, that's a big need uh, that Laura's I identified but one that we really want to uh, get behind you in and see if we can uh, help you in that. So you have a team of, uh, you kind of divide it as a team of three, right? Yeah. You want to talk about that just a little bit? Yeah, so right now we're currently actually four single ladies. We just, one just arrived. And so, but the three of us have been together for six years. We're looking at buying a truck for the team. Um, yeah, because we've thought about camels and horses and different things, but that's also takes more time to get to places where we can do that, but it's just a little bit more practical with a truck. And the truck that we had for four years it, it did okay, but now it's just really starting to break Not down okay. and uh, leaving it on us in some hairy situations. So yeah. we, um, yeah, I just think it's safer, and we've just gotten counsel that we should probably look into getting a more reliable vehicle. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, great. So we're going to watch a little video about that, but just right now I'll say, um, you, as we talked a little bit, uh, identifying this need, mm -hmm. you're thinking that truck is going to cost roughly 60, like, thousand U.S. dollars. So we talked with Laura, she's splitting that over her team of three, Laura herself and her other uh, mm -hmm. two team members. Mm -hmm. And then there's some other smaller needs, but medical equipment and different things that you would need as well. And so yeah. as we've connected as a church, we're gonna say, hey, the, the need is essentially 30,000 Canadian, $30,000 would be a wonderful goal to aim for, mm -hmm. um, to really see that need provided for mm -hmm. and, and to let you continue to share the gospel and your team out there in chat. Yeah. And so, um, we have a little video explains a little bit more about that, uh, so let's watch that, and then I'll give us a few more instructions about how we can support uh, Laura in this work.
Okay, so hopefully that gives you a little bit of idea of the real practical need that's there and also the work that Laura's um, involved in. And as you can see, that's a really essential need in so many ways. Uh, like Laura shared, uh, they don't know of any nomad people that know Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior yet, but Laura is serving faithfully out there and laboring for the Lord. And the Lord promises that that's not in vain, that everything that is done for his kingdom and his glory uh, will be used. And so how, how, maybe how do we get involved with that as a church? Well, this Sunday, uh, we're going to be taking up our offering a little later in the service, but want to give you a little bit of time to think about that as well. We're going to take up our regular offering, but as well uh, in the little pockets in the chairs in front of you, we have these blue envelopes for this purpose this morning as well. So if you want to give uh, anything that you would put in this blue envelope, uh, we'll go specifically to uh, Pioneers, which is the uh, team that Laura serves with. It'll go to Laura and providing for this need uh, to hopefully see that land cruiser provided for and the medical equipment that they need. And so if that's something that you want to think about doing, sometimes, hey, maybe you're visiting and you're like, you know, this is a this is a need that the Lord's just identifying right now. If you want to give to that, if you feel led to, then feel free to do that this morning. We're also um, setting up a way to give online for that. And so if you are um, connected into our church email each week, uh, that process is happening. And so it'll be coming out this week as well. And we're going to keep this open uh, for as, hopefully as long as we need to, but certainly as long as uh, Laura's going to be here. And so I want to um, just present that opportunity to you, to us as a church, to say this is a very practical way in which we can be involved in seeing the gospel go out and to support Laura and her team as they do that.